Hi, my name is Ken Fry, and I'd just like to thank you for uh, joining me today and looking at KCD. I'm just double clicking to change my view here, clicking on a wall to make it active, just turns it gray. All that means is when I go to change my view, that's the wall I'm looking at. I just click on these diagonal lines. I'm over jumping from one wall to the other. It tells me which room I'm in. As far as changing units on the screen, all you need to do is double click on it and it brings up all the information about it. Uh, I could change the depth in two seconds. Just click on it. Uh, number of dividers in there. This happens to be a tray cabinet. If I don't want this to be a tray cabinet and I want a three drawer base in there, just erase that unit. And we can just come up to base units here. Simply hold down your mouse to get a quick view of it. We can do a three drawer and I'm just gonna drag my mouse in here and click OK. And you'll notice that it puts the three door base up. Now, if I didn't want the three door base, I could drag it in the trash and put a four door base. That's a lot easier than having to go through six or seven edit menus to make the change. Now, if I want to change this drawer front height in this one, I just double click on it, come down to the questions, which are all in this list. It's not a big, you know, hidden uh, secret that the list is, is somewhere else. You can come in here and just click on top drawer front height and I'll make that seven. We'll go here, seven, click OK, and it adjusted the bottom drawer. We can go up to different dimension levels in the software. I have it at zero. One gives you just a simple overall dimension. Two will give you a breakdown on your side of your space between things, uh, uppers and lowers and countertop thickness. Three gets into openings. So usually I would just hit SD for show doors, or you could go up to doors and click show doors right here. And you can go to dimension level three to show the opening and notice we have the 31 and a half by 28 and a half inch opening it gives us the details here now the hinging is being shown right now we're going to go dimension level four that's just showing your three-quarter material now this happens to be a frameless design and we could tell it to be any particular thickness five eighths or we could change it to frame if we want now i'm going to hit sd to show doors again SD and you'll notice the number of shelves in there if I double click on this well where do I go to change the number of shelves it's in the list right here I want to make it three click OK and I just change it to three or double click back on it and click on it change it to one so you'll find it's extremely fast and easy uh, I'll you know point out all these little details as I go along if we want to change the door styles on this particular job since you know the customer isn't sure what they want um, and they're going to change their mind 10 times which is fine that's why you have software you go to doors which makes sense go to change doors on this job we're going to go and grab a square flat panel square flat panel and a square flat drawer front here click OK and you notice it changed it now this will reflect in your cut list in your pricing and if you output to a CNC uh, router, that will do that. And if you just order your doors, it'll give you a list of doors uh, to order. So you're going to find that you get the pieces that you need for your operation. And KCD will provide that. It's not like you have to print everything out. Now, what I'm going to do now is go up to doors, add handles and hinges. And I'm going to change. Right now, I told it not to have knobs uh, or handles. So I'm going to put handles here and a knob on the drawer front right there click OK and it will just put them on the particular cabinet I can always change where the the hinging goes and change my handle location so there's lots of little details like that that you can do that way the shop gets the information they need and the CNC router and the customers get what they want but you can show as little as you want show as much as you want that's really up to you now you'll notice here a little button here just change it to black and white a lot of our people would prefer to give their uh, shop uh, a black and white drawing you know and doesn't have to be uh, color and as far as changing anything else well we can go up to countertop edges and right now the profile is set to this profile well if we want to change it to something else we just scroll through our list if we don't see something in our list that we like well you can create your own profile and I'm just going to do the um, the round edge change it and actually if you kind of focus right there you're gonna see it changed on the edge of that counter right there it changed if we zoomed in on it you'd see it 
right there just change the profile and you know obviously that would really change the effect of what it looks like in the 3d so when you you know you see the edge here that's going to be a lot you know it, it has a more pronounced uh, effect on you especially for the customer now I've gone through and captured a bunch of images uh, as far as the floor plan by just going to the image and clicking on this little picture um, button here it says add this drawing to multiprint and what you can do is you can go over here once you've added these pictures you know clicked on that button when you're in 3d and some of these other views you get all these views well you just drag them over onto a piece of paper here and you can resize it and you can really do a nice presentation for the customer and you know bring in things and make it any size you want bring it back if you want we could set it to scale over here quarter inch you know just bring it over and that's quarter inch scale you know I started to move it by scrolling on it and it's saying do I want to change it and I'm gonna say yeah I want to make it smaller I can change it to black and white you know I can hide the borders there's all these little details that you can do and as long as you understand that you have the flexibility to do this the program as far as how it works is very straightforward uh, it gives you all these different options and when it comes to these different options you're gonna find that they're really easy to use like you know you want to change the molding on the design well if we look at the molding profile here we'll zoom in on it again you know we're looking at that profile we can go up to molding and let's find something else now we include all this molding for you why wouldn't we um, it's just built into the software it's covering you know most of the dental and crown and all these other different shapes if you want to create your own go ahead now I'm gonna just put two and a quarter crown click OK and it's just gonna change that to a crown molding and that's kept track of lineal footage in your cut list in pricing it factors in for miters things of that nature so there's there's a lot of things that are tied in directly with your design the program knows that this cabinet right now is finished but on the left side it's it's touching another cabinet now in the world of frameless you may use the same material but you may ha do it have a, a different process excuse me to putting this up maybe a, a, a laminate two finished side whereas this is one unfinished side well at this point the program will recognize that and will actually calculate that as a finished end for you and that as an unfinished material so things like that are definitely uh, useful in the software and and when we come to uh, you know putting up other things in the software just click add wall you know we come over here drag it now notice it rescaled it because I brought it down in here and if I needed to put you know a return wall here it's it's whatever I want to do click on the wall I want to work on and at this point we're looking at this wall maybe we want to change it from frameless let's just do a uh, frame uh, design let's say it's a entertainment center you know come down to the entertainment section and you know you can come in here and let's just put a few base units in just do a base three drawer and I want to join some things just so you see that it can work a certain way and for frame construction and we'll do the no drawer and come in here now I can make the right style zero by double clicking on it this is face frame and if I look at my dimension level two here well that's showing a 52 and a quarter inch cabinet that's one cabinet one bottom one back one kick one face frame if you say to yourself well wait a second I want to make the um, those openings the same because they don't look the same I can right mouse click on it right mouse I go opening same width I mean it takes two seconds to do this stuff in the software whereas a lot of software you've got to go through a lot of these other things to make it actually do anything now I'm gonna point out that we can also come in here and pick let's just go with a um, yeah, we'll just put something like this up and we'll do a couple of these click OK double click on it and I'm gonna go right of and we'll go copy and maybe we just want to make that cabinet just a little bit smaller we'll go by we'll go 25 and we'll do well, let's go 26 
and we'll extend the countertop on that afterwards. Now I can make that one unit by just double clicking on it and making the left style zero and I've joined it. I could also go through and you know we look at this that's the depth here. Well we could double click on it make the depth 15 click OK depth 15 click OK and you just see how easy it is to do things and when we go to molding we could tell it to have different molding on this particular one we could tell it to use um, let's do something weird like that and let's come to change molding on one or more units we just scroll down here and we just come to unit 41 and 42 we, we want to probably we're gonna wanna yeah we don't want to overlap it that way we want to go to molding that was my fault the nice thing is it's not a big thing see how it's overlapped by its top line here or not overlap that's top aligned by click clicking T that puts it even with the top of the cabinet and we just come in here and okay so you see that you can just put this stuff on anywhere you want and then when you go to 3d we just back out of it and there it is right there and we could add the the doors also if I want to do beaded inset let me show you it takes two seconds just go up to change and we just go to change standards in this room go to door and drawer inset door beaded change door insets minus an eight click OK so all of this stuff you can do and it's just incredible that it's going to give you all the information you need and it really doesn't take long at all to do it and to show the customer what they're going to get I think it's critical because otherwise they're going to not know what they're getting you got to make the sale first before you you go build anything this software will do that but it will also give you all that other stuff to, to do all the construction and the pricing and you know at this point I'm going to stop this particular video because there's a lot of other things I want to show you that I can show you on another video but hopefully that just gives you a little flavor of what KCD is all about and our support is free and you're gonna find that that we're just here to help you and the programs easy enough to learn and use anyway uh, we have online videos and uh, you know we've got 30 years of, of doing this and you know we just make it easier every year so thank you very much and we look forward to uh, hopefully talking to you some more